What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report and in today's video we'll be looking at another Texas Rangers draft prospect and left-handed hitting outfielder from UCLA, Garrett Mitchell. In my opinion, Mitchell would be the ideal selection for the Rangers at pick 14 because he might be the only 5 tool player in this year's draft class. The only reason he might slide down teams draft boards and make it all the way to the Rangers pick at number 14 is because he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes back all the way when he was in the third grade. The previous two draft videos, I had the Rangers selecting two college prospects. The first one being catcher Patrick Bailey from NC State, and the most recent one being right-handed pitcher Cade Cavalli from OU. This is the trend I think we'll see a lot of the teams make in this year's draft, as there is more track record with college prospects than there are with the high school prospects. And this doesn't mean that there won't be any high school players drafted. I just think the college players are seen as more of a safe pick rather than the high school players in this year's draft and with the COVID-19 situation. Garrett Mitchell is 21 years old, six foot three and 205 pounds. Unlike the last two prospects that I just mentioned, Garrett Mitchell was not drafted out of high school with two concerns and those being his tools that they would not translate in the big leagues or pro ball and the second one being his commitment to UCLA. Kind of ironic because now Garrett Mitchell is one of the toolsiest players in this year's draft class. If you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about when I say the word tools over and over, go check out this video about number one prospect in the Rangers farm system Josh Young and that's where I go in depth on a player's tools and those being hitting for power arm strength fielding and running so go check out that video if you don't know what i am talking about right now garrett mitchell is a plus runner a plus hitter and he has a really good arm as well his power tool and his fielding tool are right around the average they won't wow anybody but they'll get the job done and i wouldn't be surprised if garrett mitchell was a consistently a 25 home run guy and he would be able to start for any team at the big leagues at center field. It might be a long shot that Garrett Mitchell falls all the way to the Rangers at pick 14 as he has so many tools and that's what scouts covet whenever drafting players. Although if he was on the board at pick 14 for the Rangers and I was in John Daniel's shoes, that would be my selection right there. And you guys might be saying the Rangers already have some good outfielders in the farm system like a Leody Tavares or a Bubba Thompson or recently acquired Steel Walker the Nomar Mazzara trade but here's the thing with the MLB draft it's all about drafting the best player available and not drafting for any specific team need because if you draft for a team need you're going to regret it in the end and your major league club is going to suffer in the long run in my last video if you guys watched that I did say that not a lot of first round picks become a Mike Trout or a Clayton Kershaw but I do think Garrett Mitchell does have the potential to become an all-star type of player at the big leagues. I'm not saying a Mike Trout or a Bryce Harper. I'm just saying he has the chance to become an all-star in the MLB. With that being said, thanks for staying to the very end and watching the entire video. And if you want to watch another one of my videos, click right here. And if you're a new viewer and love the Texas Rangers, consider subscribing by clicking right here. That way you never miss out on any of my highlight videos, my news videos, my rumor videos, or my scouting report videos like this one. And don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you can receive the instant notification when I post right away. Remember to stay home, stay safe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.